Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family Friendly Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Burry, Family Friendly Gaming. Court is in session. This is an FG Politics on what is wrong with equity. You might be like, I haven't really heard about this equity thing. Well, it's been going around for a while and I heard about it at this conference and it, it absolutely astounds me the selective nature that the people who are pushing this are going with. So, in essence, equity is like, you know what? Some people are just not uh, blessed with the same starting point as others, and we need to make it uh, equitable for them. So, the, the first issue, and they usually want to do this uh, like racially based uh, or ethnically based, and the, the first issue is they have a, a racism of low expectations in this. So, so what they're saying is, we don't think that this group of people can can compete with this other group of people. So we're going to just make it equal, right? Like, so if if this person got like a 70 and this other person got a 95, we'll just say that they both got 95. They're, they're both got A's. They're, they're both good. You go, whoa, 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 whoa. It, it doesn't work that way. I mean, <laughs> especially the greatest example is, is sports. So you go, wait a minute. It isn't like, okay, well, this team... Uh, Got went eight and eight, and this team went uh, ten and six, and they're both just equal, and they're both in the playoffs, and they're well, actually, they're just, they can both go in the playoffs, but but we'll let the 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 team with the lower score they can they can just be as equal, and you know what, they deserve the 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 Super Bowl trophy or the World Series trophy or the, the Stanley Cup or you know whatever they win. The, the, the team they did worse, you know, they, they win it too, you know. It, it goes back to the lame participation award type of thing where it's like, well, you participated. Here's your trophy. And you're like, um, I'm sorry, but uh, it, you, you demean the people who actually won. The other thing is, let's be honest, no one anywhere is coming from equal backgrounds at all, right? Some people have to overcome more than others. And that some sometimes that makes those people a whole lot better because they had to overcome all this, right? There are people who had chips on their shoulders and they did really well because they had those chips on their shoulders. It motivated them, right? And I think that's one thing that, that this equity seems to, to take out is motivation, right? Plus, then you're gonna have entire groups of people who think that they don't have to do as well, right? Like. Why would you even try? I remember I worked at this company and they had to have certain groups of people in there, right? They had to have hit certain numbers. They were required or they thought they were required to. And this one guy, he didn't do his work. He was just going around flirting with all the ladies. Whether they're married or single, didn't matter. He was just messing around with every woman he could and not doing his job, right? And then they were trying to dump his projects off on us. And they're like, oh, you have to do his work for him. Why? Why can't he do his job? Like, like you're paying him for what? Not to do his job? Like, I'm doing my job. And, you know, am I going to get more money to do his job too? Oh, no, no, no. We can't give you more money for that. Well, then I have no motivation to do his work for him. So I would do my work and let his work sit. And so his projects just sit. So you know what management did? The, the brilliant people in management. I completed the project really well. Did an amazing job. It was my project. And they said they were going to give an award for this project being done. But I didn't get the award. They gave it to him. He did no work, no effort, nothing. And they said, oh, give it to him. Guess what that did to morale? No one in the shop liked him. At all, no one in the programming shop liked him because he wasn't doing the job and he's given awards for our hard work. Like, oh, here's a $5,000 bonus check. Give it to him. He didn't do anything. 
And you're like, excuse me? Oh, well, we have to have it equitable. No, you're stealing from me. You're stealing from my hard work. That's what it does. It steals from people who, who, have, who do the hard work. The other issue yeah, that I have a real issue, a problem with it and why I know this is a failure, they're not applying it equally. Okay? You might be like, what do I mean they're not applying it equally? Okay, so let's go back to sports. They sit there and say, in education, we're going to give this group of people just a free pass to do whatever they want and they don't have to even try and they're just going to get a degree for just, you know, maybe showing up, maybe not even showing up, we don't care. We just give it to them, right? Does it happen in sports? Because you might notice that there are a definite majority of certain groups in, in professional sports and you have a definite minority of certain groups in sports and it doesn't match the population of the country so you go wait whoa, whoa, whoa. well if if they're if you're gonna sit there and do do equity and go well well you know we have you know a group that's nine percent of the population so we have to have nine percent in the school and nine percent have to graduate why don't you sit there and say, okay, well then, you know, 60% of the population has to be whatever race in sports. Oh, no, no, they're like, no, 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 we can't do that. We would be stealing. Well, you don't mind it in other areas. And I guess I don't understand why you can apply it in one area and you refuse to apply it in other areas. You know, why, why do you single out certain things, certain businesses? And then other businesses, they're okay. They, they can be left alone, right? I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me personally. So that's my, my two issues with it. And, and I don't see it as a good thing, honestly. I see it as a bad thing. And, and I want to explain my definition of racism, or definition of racism I was raised with. It is preferential or detrimental, or detrimental treatment of someone based on their race. So if you say, I'm gonna give you preferential treatment because of your race, you are, in my opinion, a racist. If you say, I'm gonna give detrimental treatment to someone based on their race, in my opinion, you're a racist. That's, that's, where, I, that's where I sit on. You know, so if you sit there and say, I'm gonna give this one group preferential treatment, then I, I look at you and say, you're a racist. If you sit there and say, oh, I'm gonna give you know, detrimental treatment to this group, you're a racist. I see both sides as being racist and racism on both sides of the, you know, like the political aisle. So, court is gonna be, adjourned. I thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.